Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. In this tutorial, we will just show how to import a mesh from a 3D scanner and how to do some initial pre processing before we continue. The way we import a mesh is just using the open button from the toolbar, or we can just go to the menu and select File, Open. It offers you to open different extensions. So I will just open a big STL file. I will choose the millimeters. I assume that this is how it has been scanned. Once loaded, the mesh appears on the screen. And as you see, if I try to rotate, it switches to point mode. And this is because this is a big mesh. How can I see what is uh, the number of uh, points and triangles of this mesh? If I come to the reference mesh, right click, and then I select properties, it will just give me some basic information. In this case, I see that the number of triangles I have in this mesh is about 3 million. Quick surface doesn't have any limitations of the size of the mesh. The more RAM memory you have, the bigger mesh it can load, but it may turn that it's uh, difficult to rotate on the screen, so we highly recommend to use a high-performance graphics card. And even then, you still may need to do some pre-processing on the mesh. So what Quick Surface offers is that even if you load a large mesh, you can create an alternative mesh, which we call a low-resolution mesh. So the way we can Create this is by selecting the reference mesh from the menu and select create low resolution mesh. In fact, this is a polygon reduction, but it doesn't delete the original mesh, it still stays in the memory, but you can create the other mesh. Let's say in this case I want to turn this down to 20% and which will make something like 500,000 triangles or even let's put it 30%, which would be nearly 1 million, and I press OK. The software will actually apply now simplification and will reduce the number of triangles. This mesh has been reduced now, and even if you see that it's similar to, a, to the original one, it's actually decimated. And if I right click now, I see that the number of triangles are 850,000. And as you see, it rotates easier on the screen and it's easier to manipulate. For example, at any point, you can go to the reference mesh and you can switch between the high resolution mesh and low resolution mesh. You can also change your mind and you can, when you are on the original mesh, you can go and create a different low resolution mesh, which is actually at a different level, so I can go and say, okay, instead of this mesh, I actually need much um, lower resolution, so I'll just run simplify, take the original mesh, simplifies then again to the other target of triangles, and you can see on the screen. At any point, I can just delete my low resolution mesh, and I can always switch back to my original. If I create a low resolution mesh and I want to use this decimated mesh in other packages or for printing or for whatever you want, you can always come here and say export my active mesh and you can export this as an STL file for use in other packages. In some cases, the mesh may come as a um, not unified and have a different normals orientation, so you can go and choose the command which is called flip mesh normals. In fact, now the mesh will be reversed and the orientation of the triangles will be flipped. You can always come and choose flip mesh uh, normals from the reference mesh menu. Let me show you a bit about the PTX file format. PTX file format is a, I'll just put it to the details here. PTX file format is a 
format which is used in the long range scanners. It stores in the file not triangles but points, but Quick Surface offers a way how you can import this and create a mesh on that. So I can open this PTX file format and the software automatically allows me to configure this import. First of all is the units. As we know that uh, meters is most commonly used in this type of scanners. The pre, uh, pre-selected option is that it comes in meters, so you can automatically it will convert from meters to millimeters, or you can always choose the unit it comes. One important option is the maximum edge length. When it imports the points, it actually creates triangles on the flight automatically from the data file. So the reference um, maximum edge length is when it creates a triangle for three points is actually uh, how whether you can build a triangle or not. So that's why preferred option is just you just leave it as an automatic or you can provide a custom distance. So for example, if a triangle has a distance less than more than a point uh, one millimeter or, or five millimeters, you just don't create um, a triangle. So when you're ready, you just press down, and the data is imported on the, in quick surface as a um, mesh data. And then this is treated as a normal mesh and can be used to be selected, create cylinders from them, etc. PTX file format also has uh, may have a different scans from different locations, so you can open. And I will just open another example. And when I press loading, it starts loading the number of scans available in this file. And using the transformation, which is in this uh, data set, it actually combines them and puts them into the common coordinate system, so you can see the full scan which has been. Uh, scanned and put in quick surface and in this case you can save this as a project I can save it as a um, project now and later I can just start using it and do reverse engineering on it. Thank you for watching.